Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones. Now you're probably wondering why are we in the Iron Islands? Well, one of you pointed out we can actually see someone's throne room by pressing this button up here. So we go ahead and look at that. Look at that. That's uh, that's the throne of the Iron Islands. That looks absolutely awesome. I think we can also go into uh, photo view as well so we can get a, a nice close-up if we go on to the throne view there look at that that is epic so thank you for pointing that one out another thing i've also learned since part two also look at that the iron throne the seven kingdoms are united which is absolutely incredible uh, one thing i also learned is how to use the character finder properly so we go into here one person I really want to find. I mean, you can see I, w I was already looking for him. Uh, I wasn't quite sure where Varys disappeared. Do you have to press this box here? Um, <laughs> I completely missed that. So, of course, Varys has 36 intrigue. He did support us in our rebellion against our father. So, I'm thinking I want to get Varys back into my court here uh, and make him my spy master. So, let's go ahead and invite him to the court. Luckily, he is going to accept that one there. Now, something else you guys also pointed out is I've probably broken my King's Guard. There was supposed to be an event when the war ended where my father's King's Guard would return. I mean, we do have one empty spot, so let's leave that open just in case. Um,. But as for firing, I don't think I'm going to fire these guys. It would be kind of an asshole move. <laughs> and uh, this this series isn't about playing canon, I know. We're kind of rewriting history and playing it for ourselves. So uh, I think we're absolutely fine to go ahead and do this. Now, what about the Red Keep? I have a feeling we should start building up uh, King's Landing, maybe. Do I also own all of this? I do. We could also build up Dragonstone, but let's focus on the Red Keep for now. We do have a Godswood that we could upgrade. What about, what's this? The Seven Gates of King's Landing, built on the orders of King Aegon I by Sir Osmond Strong and Grand, Grand Maester Gowan. The walls of King's Landing are dominated by seven massive gates. The Gate of the Gods, the Lion Gate, the River Gate, the Old Gate, the Iron Gate, the King's Gate, and the Dragon's Gate. Okay, so that gives some fort level, some garrison stuff. Hostile raid time plus 50%. Development growth plus 10%. Very nice. And then we have the Red Keep as well. The Red Keep is at the very heart of the Seven Kingdoms. High atop Aegon's Hill, its red walls and towers stand guard over King's Landing. From here, the King of the Iron, uh, the Kings of the Iron Throne rule from atop the Iron Throne, forged of the thousand blades of Aegon's fallen foes. So that gives some more fort level. And why not? 2,000 garrison. Very nice. Holding taxes, control growth, and then of course uh, renown uh, and whatnot there. So it's nice to have that. We can upgrade it. No, that's the Godswood. We can't upgrade these buildings because they're special. That's fine. What else can we build here? We have quite the selection. We could build a trade port, get that development growth up. I realized it looks a little bit harder to earn gold in this mod. Which is probably why we have so many holding slots here. What uh, what kind of men at arms? I mean, I know we have armored footmen, but I wanted to make some dragon keepers. They are heavy infantry, okay. Oh, look at that. We also have crossbowmen. Huh. We're, we're going to focus on dragon keepers, I think. So it would be nice to, of course, get some buildings that focus on buffing them do we have anything of the sort heavy infantry damage so we would need a barracks i think first though i'm gonna focus on getting a trade port built so let's go ahead and build one of those in uh, in king's land in that should be all good we could yeah we have hook market here gold guard heights landing field Vesenia's hill renaris hill huh this is awesome. What about over in Dragonstone? I know we lost some development because of a random event. I think I've already read out Dragonstone. We can build something new here. Oh, okay. It just seems like a, a typical building, right? Yeah, this just looks like your regular duchy building. What do we have here? We have hillside fields. Can we get a trade port built in here as well? We are on the coast. We can. So let's go ahead and get a trade port built over on Dragonstone as well. We're, we're going to focus building these two up. Because if we have to retreat from King's Landing, we can just sail straight to straight to Dragonstone. What I'm also going to do 
is recruit some more men at arms. So let's go ahead and get those dragon keepers. We're earning a lot of gold. Wait, before I do that, I also want to assign some of this stuff. So we have things like, where are they? The Warden of the North, Warden of the East, the West, and the South. Who is ruling these? Let's uh, go ahead and check in on my vassal. In fact, it might be easier to just scroll there. If we go to the North. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, Palace Stark is currently leading the Starks. Okay. That's because I sent Eddard to the wall. We can see him there. Uh, he has taken the black. He's a bit young to make a warden, isn't he? I mean, Dawn was loyal to me. So why don't we make Doran, uh, Doran here? Why don't we make him the warden of the south? Can I do it through this menu? I don't think I can. I can negotiate an alliance though. We, we're going to get stressed, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and negotiate an alliance with him because he did go ahead and help me in the war, so I, I trust him. He is my brother-in-law, he is my vassal. Are you, You're you very good at intrigue as well. The thing is, I want Varys on my court. I could give you... I could make you my master of laws, though. Oh, I can't because you used a hook to get that position. Ah, that's annoying. Could I make you hand of the king, maybe? That could be possible if I filter that by here. There we go. He's already considering a proposal for me at first, though. Okay, let's wait for him to approve the alliance, and then we'll, we'll look at him. I think Dawn also has a... Oh, yeah, look at Sunspear. Uh, greetings, my handsome liege. I am honoured by your request, and I would be glad to call you an ally. Marvellous news. Awesome. Look at Sunspear. That looks incredible. Sunspear is the seat of House Nimorous Martel. Like the Dornish themselves, the castle is a mix of Roynish and Andal elements. Next to the old Andal keep called the Sandship stands the Tower of Sun and Spear, both built in the Roynish style. The Tower of the Sun is where the Prince or Princess of Dawn rules from their twin thrones, one bearing a sun and the other a spear. This looks incredible. Let's go ahead and look at the, the environment of Dawn as well. This map is... I cannot wait to upgrade the PC so I can play this uh, uh, properly. Look at that. You could have your own little campaign over here. This is incredible. Uh, I absolutely love the detail they've put into the map here. Right, let's go back to the Prince of Dawn. I wanted to... I wanted to make you hand of the king. That's what I was doing. Eric, uh, you're going to be gone, I'm afraid. I'm going to... Rec I'm going to reward my allies here. Let's go ahead and assign you to hand of the king. I think you deserve it. And look at that. You have a lot more to focus on. Oversea realm gives me stewardship. What What am I focused on? I'm a man of learning, aren't I? I am. I am a man of learning. So I could increase my, my learning lifestyle experience if I so want to do. Let's go ahead and do that. I think that is fine. Learning plus three, a mon uh, monthly learning lifestyle experience plus fifteen percent. That's all looking good. I'm I'm gonna go through my council in a bit more detail today. Now, as for my wife, let's go over to the character finder. By the way, did Varys join my court? I feel like he might have. Not yet. Okay, we're we're waiting for Varys to reply. Whilst we uh, have learned to use the character finder. I have a feeling we we might have bugged out the game a little bit. So maybe we can go ahead and find Liana. Ah, which one are you though? Is it Lady Liana of the North? I think it is Lady Liana on the North. There we go. Uh, this is, of course, Liana from the event that we already had. Unfortunately, it doesn't show us as lovers or anything like this. I wonder, can I invite you to my court? She wouldn't accept... Because of my lodging standards. Are, are my lodgings not up to scratch for you? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do, just so I don't lose track of you, I'm going to pin you because you are someone uh, I'm very much interested in uh, trying to marry. Now, one thing I also noticed, if we go over to our dynasty, we have a dynasty modifier called Blood of Old Valyria. The Blood of Old Valyria is still strong in this dynasty's veins. Diplomacy plus one, health, small boost, inbreeding chance minus 
Of course, that's within the Targaryen law. So what I might do is actually have these two marry off to one another. What's their traits like? I don't think you inherited. I mean, you're you're quick and handsome, so why not? Maybe that's something to think about in future. We'll we're, we're, we're have to see. Let's go ahead and unpause the game, though. Uh, we've, we've gained some stress level. Lately, it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by uh, vicious, lascivious <laughs> thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? Oh, look at that. We could become athletic. Regular exercise helps Rhaegar keep a level head and burn off stress. Yeah, I think this form of burning is much healthier than my father's form of burning. Why not? Maybe a different kind of outlet will help. Uh, we're going to learn to exercise. That sounds like a good idea. Also, we have reduced our stress now, but more importantly, look who's arrived in our court. The legend himself, Lord Varys. So let's go ahead and reassign my spy master. There we go. This guy is incredible. He did help us in the rebellion, of course, and he was a very powerful ally then, so I want to keep him on my good side. So we go down here. The master of laws we can't change. Is there anything new here? So we could put in foreign affairs. I think we're going to keep you on domestic affairs. We already know how troublesome it's going to be to keep the seven kingdoms together, if it's anything like normal Game of Thrones. Yes, I'm going to put you on domestic affairs. Then as for the Master of Coin, I think I'm actually going to increase the development in the Red Keep. We already have 20 development here. Not quite sure what our cap is. Let's see, innovations. Is there anything here? I mean, we have this kind of tech unlocked. We need to actually go ahead and look at all of this, don't we? Where's the development one? I think windmills, no that's taxes, <laughs> I'm not quite sure, I think, I think we're under the development limit anyway, let's just go ahead and increase development in the, in the red keep, that's all looking good. As for my master of at arms, I think train commanders is probably where I want to go on this, unless we need to in con increase control anywhere, I mean the two most important places are fine. Let's see, Captain Effectiveness, Men at Arms, Damage and Toughness. Yes, let's go ahead and put you on Train Commanders, that's fine. And then Varus, you're going to be on Disrupt Schemes. My Master of Ships, Supply Duration, Counselor's Martial Skill. Okay, so that's uh, Fleet Movement Speed. This is for Trade, let's keep you on Trade. And then my High Septon, let's keep you on Religious Relations, there we go. Uh, we've we've gone through and sorted all of this out. Do we really have no one better for the Master of Ships? I mean, Tywin Lannister, why why is he not my Master of Ships? Although, maybe I could make Tywin my steward, my Master of Coin, and then Doran here could be my Master of Ships. Because he has got 17 stewardship as well. Can I replace you? I can. Okay, Tywin, you're going to be my master of coin. Let's go ahead and do that. Can we also negotiate an alliance with you? Where Where is this? There's, a, <laughs> there's so many options. I think it's down here. No, it's not. It, it should be up in diplomacy, right? I don't think it's possible for us to negotiate an alliance right now. That's fine. You know, we're going to make him the master of coin. He's going to like that. I'm going to like that. And then Doran here. You're going to become my master of ships. There we go. You're, oh, you were the hand of the king though. Ah, damn it. Doran, go back. <laughs> we're getting confused here. Let's swap them back over. There we go. We didn't lose anything for swapping them that way. Do I have anyone else noticeable that could maybe be my master of ships? Stannis could be. Oh, look at that. Stannis could even be my, my master at arms. No, we can't swap him out because he, uh, he bribed his way in here, didn't he? Oh, but we can swap. Okay, in that case, are you good at anything else? Your stewardship is actually 12. So what if I put Stannis in here? I want to keep Stannis on my side. Let's not lose the uh, lose the Baratheons again. 
And then what I'm going to do is swap you guys over. So Stannis is going to be my master at arms. And Lord Adrian here is going to be my master of ships. And then Lord Monford is my master of laws. We can't get rid of these two. They blackmailed their way in. But the rest of my court is looking very nice now. So we've got Dawn, we've got the Lannisters, of, of course Varys, we've got the Baratheons in here. Uh, I, I think I'm satisfied with that. There's a little bit of organisation going on. We do have some money left over. Do we have any unique decisions? We could hold a Grand Tawny, celebrate the unification of the Seven Kingdoms. That sounds like a good idea. Just reading through all of this. We could work off some stress. Let's work off some stress. And then what I'm going to do after that is hold a grand tournament. It's something hard to find the motivation to remain consistent when exercising by myself. I could try to find myself a partner who then would not only motivate me on bad days, but would also be someone that I can compare myself to when tracking my own progress. What kind of companion would suit me the most? Someone I can look up to. Someone to keep me on my toes. Or perhaps someone I know... I should never aspire to be. I should train with someone's prowess I envy like Stannis. Do you know what? I would actually like to keep Stannis close as well. Just to make sure he doesn't make the same mistakes as his brother. Now I should train with someone whose prowess I envy like Stannis. Let's go ahead and do that. Why not? And then what we can also do. Is host a grand tourney. How expensive is that going to be? 300 gold. We could just about afford it. I think the, the people of Westeros need something to look forward to. Let us hold a tournament of such grandeur as to be remembered for centuries. Begin the preparations. We gain a lot of prestige for that as well. Let us hold a tournament of such grandeur as to be remembered for centuries. Have the maester send ravens with an invitation for every likely warrior. I will watch every joust. Yes, I will watch every joust. I want to see my tournament uh, take place. Gain the level of fame. We are we are now distinguished. There we go. And it looks like Lord Alaric here. Uh, we'll go ahead and show him in at once. He's given us gifts of gold. I'm not going to read all these out because we're going to get a lot of people petitioning us. What's this? Ransom Lord Titus to the implacable Rhaegar. I cannot stand this imprisonment any longer. Would you accept this offer in return for my freedom? A hundred gold? Yes. Uh, you're free to go. 100 gold it is. Can imprison criminal. Oh, what? what's all this? Fornicator, fornicator, fornicator. Okay, typical Crusader Kings, eh? Adulterer, fornicator, fornicator, adulterer, <laughs> fornicator, fornicator. Okay, they're not important to me though, it said. So, well, we'll leave them for now. I'll let their, the more immediate lords and whatever deal with that. I have a tournament to attend to. The lords and champions of the realm have arrived ready to test their metal in the lists. A hundred shields hang on a hundred pavilions. The heraldry of houses great and small on proud display. Any warrior with a lance and a horse may enter, but only the most skilled will advance to the later jousts. Let us begin. Can you imagine this mod when the new DLC releases for Crusader Kings 3 with all the, um, the new tournament system and everything? Oh man, that's going to be incredible. There's some fighting going on down here. That's fine. There's going to be even more fighting happening soon. Uh, Lady Tanda, let's go ahead and show her in. Did you bring me gifts of gold? You didn't. That's fine. As long as you uh, pay your respects to me uh, and you stay low, that's fine. Aha! This one I, I will read out. Oh, drivers breaking me there. Hopefully you didn't hear that, guys. <laughs> uh, greetings, my handsome liege. I've arrived in the Red Keep to pay homage to you, glorious king, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Let's go ahead and show in Stannis at once. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Lord Paramount Stannis, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference as attendants bring forth his gifts of coin and precious object. The oath is taken and scribes record his pledges to serve the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne. At last, a bid of Lord Paramount arise, confirming my satisfaction and Stannis' rights to the lands he rules in my stead. And look at that, he even brought me some gold. You know, Stannis, I, I like you much more than Robert. I feel like we're going to have a very good relationship here. In fact, uh, I completely forgot to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so overwhelmed with all the mechanics uh, and excitement of playing this. Um, 
where is it? Oh, here it is. That I completely forget. There's so much to do. Uh, uh, and my mind just wanders. So, Warden of the South. We're going to give that to the Prince of Dawn. Aptitude. Excellent. The Warden of the South is charged with the defense of the South in cases of foreign threats or invasions. Okay. Where is... There we go, Duran of Dawn. You're going to be the Warden of the South. I'm going to appoint you to this. So, opinion with Lord... Okay, so we get some opinion and also control growth as well. That's just a little bit one. He's not very good at it, but... I guess he can always learn, can't he? That's fine. 0.87 gold we're paying him. That's fine. I guess... People have to go through him before they go through me then or something? I don't know. We also need... I think Warden of the West, I will give to Tywin. If we can find Tywin here. Oh dear, we could, uh, we could be here a little bit while. Uh, while. There we go, there's Tywin. You're going to become the Warden of the West. You have an average aptitude for this, that's fine. And then Warden of the North. We don't really have anyone to be Warden of the North right now because the, the Stark is just a kid. I could name him Warden of the North, but I don't think he's ready for that. Warden of the East. Let's go ahead and name Stannis. I'm willing to give him a chance. He's not his brother. At least I hope he's not. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Uh, we zoom back in. Now we can carry on with the Grand Tournament, at least for now. The preliminary rounds have ended and many brave competitors are left licking their wounds and nursing their bruised pride. Those who remain in contention ready themselves for the final rounds. The tourney grounds are abuzz with anticipation as spectators lay their wagers and competitors make their boats, uh, boasts. Fortune favours the bold. Hopefully uh, we have some special story and flavour text with this. Master Darren and Lord Davon enter the lists and ready themselves for the next tilt. Their mounts pour at the ground eager to charge. Oh, I can place a bet. Okay, who? let's go ahead and uh, review these guys. So you are lowborn. Master Darren here, 17 prowess. That's a uh, look at that, a formidable fighter. Whereas we have Lord Davon, he isn't lowborn. He's from House Scorcher. Davon shares the warrior's fury. Where where are you guys? Or well, what I should say is, where is Davon? If I click on him, down in dawn. Okay. He is a skilled fighter, 19 prowess. You know what? Um. Hmm. Do I favour the underdog or, or do I go with the, the Dornish warrior? I think I'm going to bell on the man from Dawn. There is an element of chance in any joust, but the gods smile most warmly on the warrior with greater skill at arms. On whose prowess shall I stake my coin? Lord David. Oh, 550 gold. Oh dear. We might pull ourselves into uh, bankruptcy here. Oh, it doesn't look good from the uh, <laughs> the avatar poses. From my seat of high, high honor, I watch Master Darren triumph over Lord Davon. The victor will advance to the next round. May the others take Master Darren. He has cost me good coin. Damn it, I should have bet on the underdog. Everyone likes a good underdog, don't they? Let's go back to the red keep. There we go. I want to keep an eye on this. Uh, it looks amazing. Lord Damon and Lord Dale enter the lists and ready themselves for the next tilt. Their mounts pour at the ground, eager to charge. So we got House Shet here against House Dunko. May the better warrior win. Sadly, I don't have enough gold to bet on this match. Uh, I went out on the first fight. From my seat of high honor, I watched Lord Dale triumph over Lord Damon. So House... House... Uh... Can I... House Dunkel. There we go. My, my memory with names is terrible. You guys should know this by now. It, it was a thrilling tilt. Are we going to see any recognizable character? Ah, there we go. Look at that. Randall is here. <laughs> uh, I, I still had my money. I know who I'd be billing on here. Lord Ralph and Lord Randall enter the lists and ready themselves for the next tilt. Let's see. So we got House Buckler and then of course House Tarly. I think surely Randall has to win this one. Made a better warrior win. There we go. Easy, easy victory for him there. It's nice to see these characters, recognizable characters, uh, pop up. Master Viserys. Okay, you are lowborn. Against House Quarkgill here. 
Now, I'll be honest, I haven't really read the books so some of these houses. I have no idea who they are. <laughs> but maybe this is an opportunity for them to prove themselves. Uh, they failed here though because once again the underdog Lowborn uh, has won the joust. How many of these jousts are we going to watch? Ooh, look at this guy. Yeah, he's an absolute unit. Lord Robert and Lord Hubbard. House Clegane. Oh, that's the Clegane's father. Yeah, because uh, we have Gregor Clegane there. And then, of course, we have a uh, Sandal. Oh, look at that. His face is uh, burned. Oh, and their sister. Their sister died, right? I forget how the story goes there. But yeah, I should really invite one of the Cleganes to my King's Guard. 44 prowess. That's incredible. Only 22 prowess for um sandal there i think gregor the mountain should i invite him he's a bit dull <laughs> but it doesn't matter though his prowess is incredible i can't invite you to my court ah because you're lord robert's heir oh dear that's a shame i mean he's only 16 his prowess will grow you know what sandal what's this oh he's burned okay there's just no icon for that just yet can I invite you? I can't. Okay, that's a shame. I would love to... Oh, I can invite to my King's Guard. Okay, let's pin you. We're going to finish the tournament first. And then depending on how your father does, I'm, I'm going to invite uh, Gregor Clegane to my, my King's Guard. That would be amazing. Made a better warrior win. Uh, I don't think we need to question who's going to win this one. Wait, what? Who are you? you? You've represented your house very well today. <laughs> what? I really wasn't expecting that. Wow, this is entertaining. So who do we have here? House Weller. House Chester. Let's see who Victor's in this one. Oh, what's this? Greetings, my emplaceable liege, my entourage. Really? We're, we're, we're trying to have a, a tournament here. Talk about timing. Uh, bring him to me at once. Why not? Look at that, the Iron Throne. Lord Simon is at last shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. My lands pale in comparison to your mighty capital. Please spare some of King's land in fortunes for the humble lordship of Rook's Rest. Where are you guys? Okay, you're not that far away, actually. You're, you're between King's Landing and Dragonstone. Let's go back to our court event. The the problem here... Rook's rest will grow, but you will owe me. We're gonna lose development in King's Landing. Uh, some lands are more blessed than others. I, I can't sacrifice the capital. It's the heart of, a, heart of the Seven Kingdoms. From my seat of I honor, I watch Lord George triumph over Lord Moribold. Okay, it was a, it was a thrilling tilt. We can hold court. Not right now. What I'm going to do with Gregor is actually invite him to my King's Guard right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Might accept only 23%. Well, we can only ask. Let's see if he'll, he'll take the offer. Who do we have here? So we got the Rainborns and, and the Bane Forts. Made a better warrior win. And there we go. Uh, that was a, another thrilling tilt. How many of these are there? I should have just skipped to the final. <laughs> we have uh, oh another Lowborn and Winsington. Are we going to see another upset? We do. These Lowborns are, are really proving themselves, eh? It's nice to see. Let's just uh, skip through a few of these unless we see someone interesting pop up now. I didn't realize quite how many of these would uh, uh, pop up to the Implacable Rhaegar. I would be honored to serve within your King's Guard. You shall come to the capital to take your vows. Look at that! <laughs> oh, if I go to my, my royal court, can I see him? Uh, let's just uh, get rid of this right now. My king's guard, Gregor, kneels before me, swearing to exchange his life for mine. To obey your word and keep your confidence. To speak their mind or hold their tongue at your back. And to defend the honour of your name, your dynasty and your throne. He rises, now pledged towards you with all his strength and to give his blood for yours. Rise, Sir Gregor! Look at that. Absolute guy uh i must thank you my implacable liege for bestowing the honor of serving within your royal guard unto my son 
My meticulous vassal, Lord Robert of Fang Hill, approaches me after the investiture of the newest member of my King's Guard. Is that him that look at that? He's ginormous. Oh, was that Varys over there? It is. <laughs> this is uh, so much fun. So, of course, uh, a lot of our King's Guard are, are, are new people. But there we go. We do have Gregor over there. He's going to be absolutely insane. I think by far the best way. I might even make him Lord. Oh, I can't. A King's Guard serves for life unless you break that with tradition. A King's Guard serves for life. Okay. How do we break with that tradition? I don't think I want to, though. Hostile scheme resistance, enemy, and what's this? Uh, protection. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine. Right, I I understand. Just means murder's not gonna be as possible. Uh, there we go. It was a, it was a thrilling battle. Learning perk available. Aha, this is going to be an interesting fight. So we've got uh, Randall Tarly here again against House Weller. Let's go ahead and see who wins this one. I think it's going to be Randall. There we go. Very easy fight for him. Let's go ahead and pick ourselves a new perk. We could learn to wash our hands. Yes, let's do that. Improve the health of our court. We want to live a, a long, healthy life. Uh, let's go ahead and show in Quailon at once. Oh, from the Iron Islands. Did you bring gold? He brought gold as well. Very nice. The Iron Islands, of course. I could make them wardens in the north, but they're not really in the north, are they? It wouldn't make sense. I, I don't think I'll do that. Let's go ahead and uh, skip through these battles. Now I kind of just want to get to the get to the final. <laughs> Next time we host a grand tourney, uh, I'll realise that we we could just skip to the final. What's this? So we got Lord Dale of House Dunko against Randall Tarly here. Who's gonna win? I mean, it should be up. He lost? 19 prowess against 44? <laughs> Give this man a place on my King's Guard. Wowzers. That's absolutely incredible. Are we, are we at the final yet? I don't think so. There we go. Look, look at that. Uh, Lord Dale there with another victory. I think he might win. The final joust is contested and the stands erupt in raucous cheers at its conclusion. With Lord Dale emerging the victor. My tawny has been a glorious affair. And while Lord Dale's name will doubtless echo in the minds of small folk and noble alike. My name too will perhaps linger in their memories. Truly a tawny for the ages. Wh where are you? Oh you're right next to me as well. That's incredible. Aggressive attacker. Oh okay. Uh, that's uh, excellent there. That's thanks to Stannis. Stannis already proving his worth. I can't get rid of this. There we go. Go right click. Can I? Uh, I don't have any open jobs for you. Which is a, a little bit worrying. All right, let's go ahead and unping you. I don't need that. Can I send my son to be a squire? Not right yet. I'm not sure what the age is for this. What I might do, though, is betroth you to your sister. <laughs> uh, it's, of course, law friendly. Uh, friendly. There is a chance of being in Britain, but they are Targaryens, so it's minus 95% chance. I'm going to betroth them. They can get to know each other. Um, that's fine. Let's go ahead and send off that betrothal. Uh, they can learn from a young age then how to rule the seven kingdoms and hopefully get along with one another what an episode so far uh, i'm very happy to have varus back so it seems like the event that pops up where you get all the old king's guard hasn't popped and that's probably because i recruited new king's guard uh, who are you lord gunser let's go ahead and show him in at once there we go he brought me some gold as well very nice we're, we're currently building these Who's the head? We don't have a cultural head. Can we research new technologies or not? I don't think so. I think High Valyrian is essentially frozen in place then. Okay. I mean, it does kind of make sense. Wait. What language do I speak? Valyrian and the common tongue. Whereas... 
Valyrian language. What what language does my court speak then? They speak the common tongue? I mean, that's essentially the entire realm. I mean, that's because I own the entire realm, though. What happens if I would swap it to Valyrian? The thing is, we gain so much court grandeur because of this. Whereas, let's see, if I go into here, if I swapped... No, how do I swap it here? I don't think I can swap it through this menu. No, I can only click to view. We could change to a warlike court. Let's keep it on intrigue for now, I think. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I don't think it would be a wise idea. Let's not do it right now then. Uh, just because I don't want to destroy things and, uh, and ruin our progress and whatnot. We have a bit of spare gold. So what we can do is I'm actually going to start recruiting some of these dragon keepers. Just in case we get in a war again. It would be nice to have some men at arms which are, are somewhat powerful. So let's go ahead and recruit these guys. That's going to hopefully deter any rebellions. What can I do about Lyanna Stark? I don't think there's much I can do. I could send her a poem. I could seduce her. Let's seduce her. I think that's law friendly. That that would make sense. Uh, greetings, my handsome liege. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, Prince Doran here, or Lord Doran, I should say. Let's go ahead and allow him to uh, into the the throne room. Lord Paramount Doran is at last shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. The lordship of Planky Town is beset by the virulent and godless children of the Rhine. My priests do their best, but I fear they need assistance if the realm is to be free of evil. The lord of the Seven Hells children must be driven out. 300 gold i can't afford that though if you pay me gold i mean he shouldn't have to pay me gold right if you remember this day and the help i provided he's gonna he's gonna get a hook on us right no we lost 300 gold did i click the wrong one? Oh, we give him the 300 gold and we get a hook on him oh dear we can change his contract though let's go ahead and increase his taxes then that should actually <laughs> at least help offset that a little bit. Already, I've managed to get myself into debt. Oh dear, uh, not much changes, does it, <laughs> in Crusader Kings 3? Let's go ahead and hold court. Why not? We're a gesture for the first in line to approach. A thin, raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence of my throne room. Obviously distracted, I call him to get his attention. Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I, uh, my village in King's Landing was hit by blight this year. We lost not only our crop, but our seed too. We have nothing. We shall starve without help. Glancing around my throne room again, he had surely you have wealth to spare. Oh, I really don't. But what we could do is establish a crop sharing system with neighboring villages. I like that. Let's, uh, if everyone can prosper, then um, in general, things should improve. My master at arms, Lord Paramount Stannis. And my master of coin, Lord Paramount Tywin, stand in front of me bickering as usual about the best politics for our country. War is the only way to make a country rich and powerful, states Stannis. Only in peace can a country grow and prosper, retorts Tywin. This time, however, they expect me to take a position. I think uh, we only do what I decide. At the end of the day, you guys are advisors, and I'm the, I'm the one who makes the final decision. My liege! Lord Gunther's voice is severe. I request that we launch an investigation about an infamous preacher in the Red Keep. You see, the preacher is, well, she's a woman. <laughs> this is not in accordance with our faith. Lord Mathos interjects Gunther's speech by raising his hand and taking a step forward. My lead, while Gunther is correct in his assessment, that uh, is the preacher's only flaw. Everything she teaches in his accordance with our faith. Throw this false preacher into jail. <laughs> no. uh, we need more people to spread the word. Of the seven who are one. I think that's fine. Uh, there we go. My business here is done. Nothing too interesting happening in court today. That's absolutely fine though. What about in the rest of the realm? Now that we don't have a war. Uh, I guess we have an age of peace. It's uh, kind of interesting. Show Lord John in at once. There we go. Uh, that's all looking good there as well. We have got some civil war happening over here. 
What about this situation? The four-year-old Warden of the North. I mean, she's not the Warden of the North. This is... If we click on this, who's in line? Benjen... Benjen Stark would probably be better for this. I don't think there's anything I can do though, right? Yeah, there's not really anything I can do. Master of Words. As a scholar of the diplomatic arts, I am well aware of the power of an eloquent compliment. Showing admi uh, admiration for a woman's best quality is a short path to her heart. I shall write a letter to Liana complimenting her. Ooh. Unparalleled, breathtaking beauty. Surely she's going to learn that. There we go. My compliment is well received. We know our way around her. Uh, Lord Mathos gained a trait, aspiring blade master. Very nice. What I would like to do, though... I really want to train my, my son to be a knight. I'm, I'm not quite sure how to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and show in Lord Mathos. He did bring gifts of gold as well, so that's nice. Oh, look at this. The mountain tribes here. I think they're completely secluded from everyone else. Lord Monford. Let's go ahead and show him in. I mean, even though he blackmailed his way onto my council, he has brought us some gold. Uh, so that's nice as well, I guess. One thing I want to do... If we open the barber shop, I actually where where is it? Clothes. Where's where's my armor? There we go. Let's go ahead and put Rhaegar's armor back on. <laughs> that looks much better, doesn't it? Uh, I'm much happier with this. I think it's a, a lot more fitting to see him in his dragon armor. Look at that. Few kills. Oh yeah, of course we killed John. Of course, we killed Robert as well. They had it coming. Uh, I might turn off this petitions. I mean, we are getting a lot of gold though as well. And we need to get out of debt. So I don't think I actually mind it too much. Find common tongue linguished. Ooh. My son Aegon is more likely to receive a good education due to Princess Elia's tutelage. Awesome. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a struggle because she hasn't done anything wrong, right? I'm in love with another woman. There we go. Tywin Lannister has arrived. 150 gold. There we go. We're out of debt. What a man. Thank you very much. Do we have any more positions? That could do with filling. Captain of the household guard. A harbour master. Domain taxes. Oh. That could be... They could actually give us more... Oh. We don't have anyone too good for it, though. Not quite sure. We have a, a lot of stuff here. We are earning a lot of gold, but what I want to do is actually invest that back into our our provinces and whatnot. Could I upgrade some of these? We already have everything built here. What about over in Dragonstone? Yeah, we already have everything built here as well. What we could do, though, is maybe build... Some stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead and show you in at once. Oh, we're going to a feast. Every guest is gathered in the great hall and our gracious host, Lord Mumford, has welcomed us all to the feast. I look forward to this. What we could do. What's this? Guild halls. We could go ahead and build some trade ports over here as well. We're lacking the gold right now, though. Uh, but that's something to consider in the future. Ah, the boy in my dungeons has died before we were able to send him to the war. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any more prisoners? I don't. That's all good. Now, one of you said I had to remove someone from my court. Who, who was it? I don't actually know. Uh, they don't pop out to me. I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born this day 29 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my wife Elia or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet when I hear a clang and hushed whispers from down the hallway. Aha, because we're, we're solitary, I feel like I should... Oh no, we gain stress because we're solitary and brave though. Uh, what could this be at this hour? What a surprise! All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of my life. There was even an entire table laden with candied figs, my favourite. Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Elia went to all the trouble of arranging this in secret. 
I had not a clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. I feel terrible. I'm chasing Liana and my wife is such a, a kind person. My friend Arthur approaches me struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster, he says, I have three gifts there for you to choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? Let's take the biggest one. Oh, what's that? A fine warhammer? Do we have a weapon? Ah, uh, we don't. A warhammer of fine craftsmanship, where wrought iron head is mounted on an elegant fur shaft that has been varnished to give it a rich dark shine. Plus three uh, prowess and plus seven percent captain effectiveness. That's uh, massive. Let's go ahead and equip that one. We don't even have an antiquarian. Maybe we should go ahead and get one of those. I completely forgot about this. Where Where is the antiquarian? I think that's a common one, right? Nope. Special. I don't actually see an antiquarian. Maybe royal? Doesn't look like we have an antiquarian. What about an architect? Oh, architect would be good for us right now. Tywin would be an excellent architect. He's already the master of coin, so let's go ahead and appoint him as our architect. That should speed up our building and whatnot uh, very nicely. Completely forgot that that was a position at court. Gain the trait organizer. Very nice. Tawny of Rook's Rest, you are hereby invited to a grand tawny at Rook's Rest. Am I am I able to to participate? I have 29 prowess. King Rhaegar, who would dare win against me in a tournament? The list shall tremble. I'm going to take part in the tourney. <laughs> oh, imagine if, if we could win the tournament here. That could be uh, incredible. When at last I reach the tourney grounds, I spare a moment to take in the sights and sounds. It seems that all uh, and sundry of the realm's nobility have come. The pennants and banners fluttering in the breeze. Their shields and heraldry proudly displayed. There is glory to be won here. The blast of a trumpet proclaims the Im imminent start of the qualification round. I spur my mount towards the lists. Look at that. We've got our armor on as well. And we do have our crown just to make sure people know we are the king. And if they hurt us, then, oh, uh, who knows? <laughs> no, we're not that kind of king. It's fine. <laughs> but maybe we'll, we'll have to see what happens in the tournament. Hopefully we don't get injured too bad here. Despite my best efforts, I was defeated in the preliminary rounds and eliminated from a tourney early. An outcome which still impresses uh, no one. Oh dear. For shame, I cannot... I mean, we'll watch the remaining jousts. I think we're, we're a good sport here. Okay, small harbour has been constructed in King's Land. And let's go ahead and build something out. Oh, look at him. Lord Dale Dunko is back once again. You know what? I'm going to place a bet on him. We've seen him before. Uh, I'm going to bet 150 gold there. I think he can win. I don't even need to see his opponent. Uh. <laughs> 23 prowess. Ah, my gold. <laughs> my gold. It's all gone. My daughter has increased her learning by one. That's nice to see. <laughs> oh, who are you? Lord Eustace Brune. You're, you are quite the man there, aren't you? Oh dear, uh, we're, we're not very good at the, the gambling side of things it seems. Let's go ahead and uh, click for all of these, we're probably going to get quite a lot of them again now. I wonder if Randall Tarly is participating once again, or whether the embarrassment, embarrassment from the last joust uh, left him not wanting any more. Tywin Lannister has arrived once again in my court. Oh, we're not even on the throne. I guess he's going to have to speak to Eric by Maester for now. Uh, Lord Tywin is at last shown into my great hall and wastes no time before walking up to my throne and bowing deeply. Thank you for seeing me, my liege. I come to you today with an urgent request. I am beset by Lord Andros and his liberty faction. Please, you must put the impudent whelps in their place for the good of the realm. Oh, yes. I, I very much like Tywin as Warden of the West. And he's a very good master of coin. He he hasn't done anything to betray me. Oh, look at that again. These traitors will have to answer to me. Do we join that or, or is it just over? I think it might just be over. 
What's this? Lately I can't help but notice the gaggles of giggling maidens and usually a straw warriors gathering in dark alcoves to listen, enraptured to a book. Today I have finally uncovered Eris with the book in his hands. It is clearly a licentious text, filled to the brim with sensuous temptations, earthly seductions and supple bosoms. I am silent while I ponder the probable reactions of High Septum Rants and Eris stares at me in apprehension. Culture comes in any form, let them read. There we go. Let's go ahead with that one, why not? So it seems like we've just absolutely ended uh, that uprising there. Oh, you. Oh, okay, that's a very similar emblem. I thought you guys were of the same house then. Right, let's go ahead and build some more. Oh, we've run out of gold. Of course, we can't build anymore. The, the tawny is still going on strong, Oris. We, we still haven't reached the final. This feels like a, a bigger tournament than the one I hosted. It was nice to take part, though, even though we were removed quite early. Maybe in a future series, we could start as, like, a, a nobody count and try and make a name for ourselves as a as a knight and in the tournaments and such. Today, I was given grave news. My wife, Elia, has fallen ill with leprosy. While she might live for many years, her deformity will make her shunned and mistrusted. Even I cannot suppress my disgust at the thought of lesions growing all over her skin. The phys physician wants to know how my wife should be treated. The time has come for drastic measures. Oh, <laughs> the treatment was successful, though. <laughs> that wasn't what I was planning. Lord Nesta has prevailed against Lord Eustace and will advance to the next round. Okay, uh, the, the tournament's still going strong as well. Can I just divorce my wife? I can't. Because opinion of me? No. Who is this random person? Oh, the fat one. Okay. <laughs> My vassal. <laughs> he must be like the leader of the seven or something here. Uh, minus 50 because of this. Oh, and she has virtuous traits. If I improve my relations with him, though... For example, I could send him a poem. What do I... What should I do here? A work about legacy. Why not? Let's go ahead and send him the poem. The poem is lauded. He gained 20 opinion of me. Uh, will I be able to divorce you now? I can. Right, let's go ahead. Uh, I think I might do that. I know we're not playing canon, but trying to marry Lyanna just feels right because, of course, the character, uh, not just in Game of Thrones and whatnot, but also in this mod, uh, did start out with events with her. So it just feels right to do that. Let's go ahead and request the divorce then. Hopefully that doesn't... I mean, we're not actually allied with Dawn because of this marriage, so that's fine. Uh, we still got some more tournament stuff going on in the background as well. There's no one won this yet. Ah, there we go. Shields have been shaken, lances splintered, and good men unhorsed. All to shift the wheat from the chaff of the assembled warriors. Of all the knights and free riders who entered, only Lord Edmund remains unconquered. The small folk chant his name while the better bred applaud in a more dignified fashion. But all and sundry let out a rapturous cheer when he is crowned champion. The long road home awaits. Greetings, my handsome liege. After much prayer and deliberation, I have decided to grant your request to divorce your wife. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but excellent at the same time. <laughs> oh, we have actually lost that alliance now. Oh, we only had the alliance because of the marriage. Is that why you accepted it? Maybe? Lady Liana is right there. It just feels right. <laughs> it just feels right. Let's go ahead and send the proposal. Uh, there we go. And now we have an alliance with the Starks as well. So the North has also been uh, secured. Learning perk available. Let's do that after this. Greetings, my implacable liege. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You'll be joined with my aunt Liana in holy matrimony. May your union bring happiness and fulfillment. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead uh, and take a look at that. There she is. Perfect. What I will do. I mean, we're already swaying, right? What does recruit as a spy do? I'm not quite sure what it does. So I don't want to click on it just in case. We are currently seducing her so that's fine hopefully we can become soulmates as well uh let's see iron constitution let's go ahead and unlock that that should help us with our health and things so if i go to my court is liana there no of course not um it's just uh, the king who sits there what we can do though if we go to our 
our barber shop here. We can see Liana as well in the background. Uh, together, finally, it does feel satisfying, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and close our way out of that now. With my marriage to Queen Liana, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my rights to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. That Who pays for their own wedding? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What we can also do now is even upgrade the trade port. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to upgrade this one as well. Uh, I think that's uh, very fitting there. So that's all fine. Can I give you... Let's see. Clothes. I want to give you... Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Let's not do that. I want to give you at least a crown and some better clothes. That's a red priestess. I assume all of these have been edited. I'm not quite sure. They, they also look very similar. What about all the way down here? Uh, I can't actually read this. I mean, that looks cool. I mean, Valyrian dress also looks cool. Let's give her a, Val a Valyrian dress. And then as for headwear, maybe down here we have some, some cool crowns. Valyrian crown one. Look at that. We could give her uh, this crown, couldn't we? Should we give her the Valyrian crown? Why not? There we go. Let's make her feel right at home. Let's go ahead and apply those changes. Liana, uh, very much looking in place now. But sadly, that's all I'm going to have time for today. So, uh, as usual, guys, if you if you want to see more of this series, then the best way to let me know is pressing that like button. But I think that was a good episode. Look at that. We're finally with Liana. We are seducing her. Hopefully, we can have some children of our own. And it looks like House Stark and House Targaryen are finally united once again. But that's it for today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.